So currently, uh, we're in Hill City, South Dakota. Um, uh, on in the evening, they have the 1980s train, no, 1880s train, going from Hill City down to Keystone, South Dakota, and back again. They just finished an evening train excursion. So essentially, I'm just kind of walking past the coaches. The steam locomotive has already um, disconnected from the train that's going back to be serviced in this um, service bay. So um, I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what is out here, at least with the passenger cars. Some open passenger cars with no windows, some closed passenger cars uh, with windows. So we've got two different types. The train um, left maybe, um, uh, let's say an hour and a half ago or two hours ago and has just now returned back to Hill City uh, only to leave tomorrow um, in the morning at 7.30. So I'm just gonna kind of walk inside of this coach here so you can see what it looks like. Here, and I'm gonna walk down the other end as we, as we head down from one end to another. And I think someone up there is cleaning up right now. So uh, I'm just gonna let you see what's inside the uh, passenger cars. And they're trying to get it ready in the morning. It's like uh, almost 9.30 right now. And you got folks cleaning up the cars. Yep, so how you doing today? They said he got you busy. Yeah. Ah, so this is uh, nice. Um, yeah, I just wanna walk right through here. Just to show people what's here. How you doing today? Good. Pretty good. So they're trying to get all ready for for tomorrow. So I'm just kind of going from coach to coach. Over there is the uh, the depot where you have um, gifts and you can buy your tickets. And if I look out this side of the window, uh, you you can barely see the steam locomotive. Uh, at the entryway of its uh, service bay. Now I'm going to walk all the way down to the other end. Oh, they have done a good job on uh, reconditioning these passenger cars for the um, touristy rides. That's very popular in the summertime. And now uh, um, here is a little stitch, um, stain or etched glass inside the last passionate car that will that uh, gives you some idea of um, the detail they put in and restoring these uh, passionate cars. I'm in the Edward Gilbert car right now and here is that stitch that, that um, the grass and the etch here at the bottom. So I'm going to exit the car right now and here we go uh -huh, and there's one of the operators. Hey, hey. so are you a conductor or you're you're? I was the host. Speaking oh, you're the, the host. Train. Okay. Um, yeah. So how long? How many years you been doing this now? Twenty years. Whoa. Oh, you're oh you're an old time one. Yes, all this I stuff. am. Yeah, and you can't give it up. You just gotta do it over and over again, don't you? Then. I do. I like so, it. Yeah, we'll be riding this train on Saturday, but I had to show people video what where we are. Great. On this, so we may see Have fun. You on one of these days. All right. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, that was, she was one of the um, guide hosts that talks about the history of this place um, in Hill City. When this train uh, ran a uh, four lane from, I think it already ran all the way down to uh, Rapid City before they pulled up the tracks, and then I think it connected over to um, to the town of Luff and the town of Yoda, I think. But here is the gift shop right here that everybody is going to be coming. Hello again. Oh, wave at my camera. Hey, okay. There you go. And um, so this is uh, everything that you'll be seeing, we'll be seeing when we come in here. And then we'll be hanging out in, in the Black Hills, taking all the fantastic sights that are in the Black Hills. Um, Mount Rushmore, Chief Crazy Horse, the 1980s train, the um, um, the Circle B Ranch 
for a check wagon dinner and and a check wagon gunfight and everything else that goes with it. Maybe the Indian boule uh, dance, possibly. It's another possibility. So anyway, just give me an idea what's up here in South Dakota in the evening, even though we will be up here later on during the, uh, during the um, Saturday. So anyway, just to give you some idea what's going on up here in South Dakota during a super, super busy, busy holiday.